guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do another fun tag that's been going around recently um, I did the, another tag uh, if you could only keep one item from each category what would you choose for the rest of your life this tag is if you can only keep five products in your beauty like if you could only use five products in your beauty routine for the rest of your life what would you use so I know a lot of people have been interpreting this video differently I believe the creator, I want to say it was Kelly Gooch again. I think it was. I'll try to find the original video. Um, I don't even, I don't think I even watched the original video, whoever created it. I think it's Kelly Gooch, but I don't know if, I don't think I watched her video. I watched Emily Noel do this and I watched Sam, um, Samantha March do this video. Um, so I will link their videos down below and then I will try to figure out I'm pretty sure one of them must have mentioned it in their video, so I'll go back and I'll rewatch it and then I'll link whoever created this tag. I'm pretty sure it's Kelly Gooch though. Um, so people are interpreting this video differently. Um, some people are using multi-purpose palettes. Some people are saying, you know, you can only have this specific item, like, um, like a specific item. I'm going to interpret it a little differently because I did just do the one from, you can only keep one specific item for the rest of your life in each category. So you already know, like whatever category I choose, you already know like, okay, well she would choose that one specific item. For me, I chose to interpret five different categories that I could only use for the rest of my life. So, and then within that category, I could choose, you know, whatever I wanted. So that's how I chose to interpret this. Um, so I did pick five different beauty categories. Like, you know, beauty categories, you know, foundation, blush, primer, mascara, eyeliner. Those are what I mean by categories. So I chose these five. Let's go ahead and get started. So I skipped the primer. I skipped the foundation. I went straight into concealer. Um, I would try to use a more high coverage concealer, something that I could sheer out and actually use as a foundation and that I could also use as a concealer. Um, so my two choices that I, just to show you an example, um, would be the Conceal and Defined by Revolution. Uh, if I were to do this, I would go up a shade and I would pick a shade that would more match my face as a foundation and not just as a concealer for like under eyes. Which typically, um, that's how I like to wear my concealer anyways. I don't like having bright under eye concealer. I like to wear pretty much my skin tone. So it works out perfectly. So I would choose a concealer because like I said, I can use it all over as my face um, if I needed to, and I could use it as a concealer. Um, so that's why I went with concealer. I think it's more practical than just foundation because like I said, it's multi-purpose. I can use it everywhere. I can use it as an eye primer as well. So again, multi-purpose. Um, so concealer, that would be my first step. And then I have to have a powder. If I'm not using a primer, I'm not using a spray, anything like that, I have to have a powder because I do have oily skin. So I couldn't get away with just the concealer on my face. I would have to set my face in some way. So I chose powder. Now for me, that means any types of powder. So I would use my under eye powder. Um, just as an example, like I said, these aren't only one from this category. I'm just bringing examples. Um, my Wet n Wild Photo Focus for under my eyes, and then I would use, I would need a powder for my whole face. So I would use any powder, um, my Cody Airspun, whatever. For example, I just brought my um, Fit Me powder because I had it sitting here from my last video. Um, in the shade Translucent, um, I could even go up a shade and actually get a shade, and then that would give me more coverage and kind of conceal a little bit. So concealer and powder. All right, so the next step, I decided to go with blush. Um, I skipped bronzer. Um, I don't necessarily need bronzer. I mean, yes, I'm fair skinned, and, you know, bronzer helps. But until three, three years ago, I never even wore bronzer. So my first bronzer that I ever wore was because BoxyCharm sent it to me. So I went, you know, 30 plus years without bronzer. I could go without bronzer for the rest of my life if I had to. So I chose blush. Um, blush, because I am fair, I think a little pop of color on my cheeks is nice. And I, you know, I would need blush over bronzer. So just a couple examples. Um, I brought my Jouer, the little um, rose gold palette duo that I got from Sephora. These are really pretty. And then as another example, I just brought my Samuel 
from the same this is my Korean Beauty blush I really love this blush I think it's beautiful it's just a nice healthy sheen um, so I wouldn't necessarily go one way or the other as far as matte or sheen because like I said I'm choosing categories so blush that would be my third step so my fourth step that I absolutely I just I can't I can't I can't skip would be eyeshadow um, so for eyeshadow primer like I said I would use concealer so multi-purpose and then I would have to have eyeshadow you guys I just I can't go without eyeshadow if I'm giving up a lot of other categories like I'm giving up my primer I'm giving up my bronzer I have to have color on my eyes um, so for some examples I brought colored rain Queen of Hearts I really like this palette I think it's really nice really beautiful and then I just brought you some examples of my single shadows um, it's in a color pop palette but these aren't all color pops these are this is just an example like I said I wouldn't limit myself to these shadows but this is just what I brought to show you um, these are my greens my this is my green palette so I've got my greens my golds um, some more greens on here and I have the one black in there um, some of these are color pop some of these are Sydney Grace and then some of them are just like random this one was um, Alamar Cosmetics, that palette that we got in BoxyCharm last year, and then just some singles that I pressed myself. So eyeshadow, that would be my fourth choice. And my fifth choice, I don't need mascara. I, you know, I'm wearing mascara, but it's not something that I've always worn. It's not something that I love. It's not something that I need to have. With mascara, I don't need liner. I don't need any of that. So the final category that I think I would need is lipstick or, you know, lip products. Um, I just brought some bullet lipsticks, you know, just to bring. But when I say lip products, I mean glosses, stains, lipstick, whatever I want because that's how I'm interpreting this video, um, this tag. So I just brought a few examples. Um, I really love the NYX lipsticks. Um, they're creamy, they're beautiful, they wear down really nice, they're inexpensive. You can find them anywhere now. Target, Ulta, Walmart is carrying them now. Um, my new favorite lipstick, I'm not wearing it today because you know I just filmed the other tag, um, is Jeffree Star in the shade Calabasas. This is so beautiful, you guys. It's like my perfect neutral color. The formula is amazing. I really love this. And then as another example, I just brought um, the L'Oreal Color Rouge in the shade Varnish Rosewood. I think this is beautiful. It's just like a soft wash of color. I'm like a really glossy wash of color. All right, guys. So this is how I chose um, to interpret this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know down below what five categories you would choose. And if you want to be more specific and say I would only choose this product, then, you know, let me down below. Like I said, go check the description box. I will link those videos. Emily Noel, I'll link Samantha March, and I would try to link whoever the original creator is. If I can't figure it out, I'm sorry. Um, but I was inspired by Emily and Samantha March. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.